Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, solar PV for the VLDC motor for water pumping application. And this uh, all consists of uh, PV panel. The rating of PV panel is uh, 3100 watts. And here you can see that the single panel having the rating of 250 watts and then here we are using a three parallel string and each string having four series model and connected in series and then voltage at maximum power point is 30.5 and then current at maximum power point is 8.2 amps okay so when we have to check the irradiation for different uh, that means uh, pv iv cat 6 for the uh, different irradiation so here you can see that uh, the peak point right the peak point for a different irradiation will be changed according with the change in irradiation. So that need to be extracted by means of MBPT algorithm. Okay. So here we are going to use uh, PNGO MBPT for extraction, uh, extracting the peak power from the uh, PV panel. Okay. And uh, this PV right, this PV will be connected to the uh, build this motor water pump okay so this is build this motor water pump and this pv panel will be connected to that uh, uh, build dc motor water pump via this uh, uh, dc to dc sebic converter so the sebic converter will be act as a power modulator uh, for that uh, water pumping application and also that sebic converter used to for extract the maximum power from the pv panel along with the mbpt algorithm so here you can see that we are measuring the two parameter so one is pv current and uh, pv voltage okay and it going to be processed via uh, p and o mbpt so the p and o mbpt will be received uh, four inputs so one is initial value for duty cycle uh, and then maximum duty cycle minimum duty cycle and, uh, and uh, change in our uh, that means increase and decrease in duty cycle for that uh, MBPT algorithm. So these are the input for that pin pin MBPT, and then inside you can see that. Uh, so this is uh, logic for pin MBPT. That mean uh, in pin MBPT, so you have to measure the PV power. So by using this formula, and then here you have to calculate dV and dB. Okay. So based upon dV and dB, so you have to uh, fix the duty cycle for a uh, say big converter. So first you have to check the value of uh, dp right that means change in power but the change in power is less than zero and change in voltage is less than zero so we need to decrement the duty cycle if the change in voltage is not less than zero you have to increment the duty cycle so here you can see that if uh, the, the change in power is not less than zero then again you have to check change in voltage so if change in voltage is less than zero here you need to increment the duty cycle or else you have to decrement the duty cycle okay if, if suppose the change in power is not uh, equal to zero okay that means uh, if there is no changes in the change in power then you have to maintain the uh, the current duty cycle which is equal to previous duty cycle right so after calculation of this uh, duty cycle here you have to compare with the, the maximum minimum duty cycle so if it is uh, that uh, calculated duty cycle within that limit so no need to do anything if suppose if you exceed the maximum limit and uh, exit that mean uh, below that minimum limit then we have to maintain the current duty cycle which is equal to previous duty cycle and here we are overriding that the current instant duty cycle voltage power with the previous instant duty cycle voltage and power okay so this code will be keep on executing in order to extract the maximum power from the pv panel by adjusting the duty cycle of the sub converter okay and So here you can uh, the final right that means the output of uh, MPPT is going to be processed via PWM generator. So PWM generator will be generated the uh, pulse right switching pulse PWM pulse for this uh, mass put of the CPU converter in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel and then it will be supply the power to that uh, build this motor drive for water pumping application. So here you can see that uh, it consists of uh, the build is motor uh, dry water pumping consists of um, voltage source in water and then build is motor and here you have to measure the hall sensor 
so all sensors are going to be converted into uh, back emf so based upon this control logic so this is a control logic uh, created for converting uh, all sensor input to back emf right so based upon this control logic you have to develop the uh, that means here you have to create the logic and logic and finally you have to add and subtract right and finally you will get the back emf here okay so next based upon back emf right so you have to generate the pulses for the two voltage source inverter okay that means we are going to control that build is motor based upon the rotor portion of the uh, build is motor based upon the hot sensor of output okay so this is the logic here right if back emf will be hot will be zero then uh, you, you have to turn off the all switch uh, in the voltage source inverter so based upon this condition right based upon back emf conditions you have to turn on turn off the uh, six six uh, switches in the voltage source inverter okay so for that we create a logic right? I mean for each back emf will be compared with the greater than zero less than zero so that will be uh, generate the pulse for uh, q1 q2 and second uh, back emf uh, for phase b right is going to compare with the greater than zero less than zero so this will be generate the pulse for q3 q4 and back emf in the phase c right will be compared with the greater than zero less than zero and then it will be generate the pulse for uh, q5 and q6 okay so this is going to be given to that the voltage source inverter and then the speed of the build is motor and torque of the build is motor can be controlled here right uh, for that, uh, that means water pumping application so here we are feedback that uh, speed of the build is motor to the torque input right so this con concept will be act as a uh, water pump application okay so this is a simulation model explanation of that uh, particular uh, simulation so now i'm going to explain about the result of the model right so here we are measuring uh, uh, irradiation pv voltage pv power and uh, uh, converter power converter power in the sense the power in the uh, output of this sub converter okay and here we are measuring uh, converter voltage and the converter current that mean uh, here right the output end of that uh, sub converter okay and here we are measuring uh, stator current electromagnetic force and then speed and the torque of the uh, build is motor drive for water pumping application okay so here we are testing the model by changing the radiation condition so here you can see that initial irradiation made in it to 1000 watts per meter square and final irradiation changed to 500 watts per meter square after two seconds okay so let see the results So here you can see that uh, the result of PV build DC motor and converter. Okay, so irradiation made at uh, 1000. So the voltage made at around uh, 125 volt, and then PV power is around uh, 3000 watts, and then converter power right output of uh, semi converter is around made in us around uh, 2950 watts. Okay. Uh, here you can see that this is stator current during the uh, 1000 watts per meter square so this electromagnetic uh, force during 1000 watts per meter square and then you can see the speed of the motor is around 3000 rpm during 1000 watts per meter square and torque of the machine is made in around uh, 3 newton meter so here you can see that this is a voltage of the uh, converter uh, during 1000 watts per meter square this is a current of the uh, converter during that uh, uh, 1000 watts per meter square so after uh, 2 second rate right, irradiation change to uh, 500 watts per meter square so during that you can see that the PV power comes to uh, 1500 rpm okay sorry 1500 watts okay and also here also same way that power of converter side right that mean output side of the converter also decreases to nearer to 1500 watts okay and also you can see that there is a reduction in the speed of the uh, build DC motor and also you can see that uh, reduction in the uh, stator current electromagnetic force and also you can see that uh, frequency right frequency here is 
very high and then here you can see that the frequency will be low that means uh, when the speed of the build is moderate degree the frequency will be a degrees okay so here you can see that because of production in the uh, pv power so the torque of the build is motors comes to 2 newton meter right and here you can see the voltage of the converter side and converter current okay so this is for a change in irradiation condition so this is working of uh, solar pv for the build is motor for water pumping application with the uh, cb converter thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye